What is our true history? Why do we find many similar megaliths and pyramids all over the world? And all aligned to the sun and stars? Why did so many ancient cultures venerate the sun? Is there a connection between them? And if so, why has it been forgotten? Wouldn't people build the same structures, use the same symbols, and venerate the same deity if they had practiced or been influenced by the same religion? Don't we see exactly the same thing in the world today? And what if this religion had been taught far back in time by the same great teachers? Wouldn't we see them being venerated in different parts of the world, being depicted in the same ways, with the same objects, and in some cases, with the same names? Could they have given rise to a great civilization that revered the sun and that built many sacred sites aligned to it? And could the many traditions that still hold the sun as sacred today be part of its scattered remnants? Could the massive influence this civilization had upon the world be hiding in plain sight because it eventually collapsed and became lost to history? Is that why we keep accidentally unearthing ancient sites that we had no idea existed and are causing major paradigm shifts in how we see our past? I believe there is a real explanation for these seemingly inexplicable sites and artifacts that is based on real evidence. These ideas and more I put forward in my book, The Ancient Religion of the Sun, by looking at linguistic, archeological, textual, historical, and genetic evidence. In my search, however, I haven't just looked at the dust and dead bones. I want to get to know the people to uncover the human story and the religion that these people practiced. I trace the people and their ancient religion of the sun across the planet and throughout history, from its origins in the oldest known texts in the world, such as the Vedas of India and ancient Egyptian texts, back to a lost civilization of the Ice Age, popularly known as Atlantis. And even further back in time, to a distant golden age recorded in Egyptian and Indo-European legends, then traveling through thousands of years, right up into its modern revival today. I outline what the ancient religion of the sun is and why the sun was seen as sacred, examining some of the ancient cultures that practiced it, including the Indo-Europeans, ancient Egyptians, some of the pre-Columbian North Americans and Mesoamericans. I explore the reality behind many indigenous oral histories and myths to reveal how some of the most famous ancient gods were based on real people who founded the religion of the sun on different continents after the global cataclysm that ended the last ice age and who I call the wisdom bringers. I also bring together the evidence to show how a lost global civilization, which I call the lost civilization of the sun, was founded in their wake and how this civilization further spread the religion of the sun across the earth and built or renovated many ancient sites around the world aligned to the sun within the last 12,000 years, but how it eventually collapsed and became lost to history. Along the way, I also look at some of the most perplexing ancient mysteries, like lost cities, secret mystery schools, the discoveries of giants and elongated skulls. This book has been such an amazing journey to write it began seven years ago in 2011, when my husband and I first started following the threads of what we came to discover was the ancient religion of the sun. We researched one megalithic site after another, examining their alignments and symbols, 
and one ancient text after another until we had literally gone through many hundreds of them from all over the globe. What we have uncovered has changed my life. I've had what I call a Truman Show moment, a kind of watershed where it was like seeing the puzzle picture for the first time, whereas before there had just been scattered pieces. I realized that huge parts of the story were missing from what I'd been taught about ancient history. And like the character Jim Carrey plays in the movie, I was faced with stepping out into the real world and one that made much more sense. If you think what we know of deep ancient history is all just a myth, think again. What emerges from the available evidence are real people and real events, as well as one of the greatest true stories ever told. Thank you so much to everyone who has supported me during the making of this book. This is one stop in an ongoing journey in which I continue to learn and research. I'm sure there'll be many updates to this book in the future, but this is the story so far.